All right, what's going on, everybody? How you guys doing? Welcome to FXPronet.com. Yet. <laughs> what? Click yet. Click like. Yeah. Okay. Good job. All right, what's going on, everybody? How you guys doing? Welcome to FXPronet.com, where our goal is to be able to help you to make an extra thousand dollars a month trading forex online at home with your families. Um, before we get into that, go ahead. And, what would you say, Amy? Click like. Click yet. Yeah, click like, uh, click the like button. All right, so yeah, so we don't really talk about um G that much, but um you know I don't mind adding it into my um into my talks, being the fact that we uh, you know you can't you can't you can't touch that. Right. So being the fact that we um we we talk about the uh the U.S. market and we talk about the uh, the the Great British Pound market as well. So with that being the case, I was like, you know, I might as well just put that together and um, start talking about that. So with that being the case, um, we're looking at G right now, and um, we have literally priced at uh, two different key levels um, in confluence with uh, price reversal zones at 78.6 and 88.6 right now, um, and it's looking really good. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just keep it simple. We have point A uh, right here. We have point B down here. Even though I don't really like this to be my point B at all, um, I'd rather it here or here. Um, let's go ahead and see. Let's see if we put it here. It doesn't have the same type of flow. It was it, like, go figure the fact that literally our key levels matched up almost perfectly. Um, I think that that was pretty interesting, and if we were to kind of move this a bit, yeah, so we could see the fact that this looks a little bit too perfect, you know. So I figured I'd just leave it like that. Anyways, so let's go ahead and go to the lower time frames and see uh, what we have. So we're gonna go to the H1 time frame, and we see that we have small breaks in this level of. Support and resistance. Let's go ahead and take this off. So, uh, not resistance, sorry. Uh, small levels of support being broken. On this lower time frame. Yeah. Try. So, as you can see, we have a bunch of um, bearish candles that are closing below this level of support. Um, and then we came back up to this area over here. And uh, we have bearish and golfing patterns that are forming, and um, I'm looking for the continuation. So, um, literally anywhere inside of here would have been, you know, a good place to be able to get started um, in this continuation to the downside. We've been in the downtrend for a while now, as you can see. So this was definitely needed, and I'm looking for this co to continue um, uh, down to um, this 1.16 area. Um, it's kind of in confluence with the monthly key level. I wouldn't be surprised that there's some type of um, key level that we could be able to draw somewhere in here. Kind of close to my monthly, but I'm pretty sure that, that there's some type of um, key level that we could be able to draw in. But um, I'm feeling really good. Hold on, don't touch, you can't touch this one. Feeling really good about this one right here. Um, being the fact that we have EU and AU um, in the same type of analysis to the downside. And, uh, from there. So, with that being the case, very, very simple trade. Um, it's going to be a long trade. I don't know exactly how many pips, but um, this is what I'm looking at. And um, at any point in time, if you have questions, um, at any point in time, let me know. Hey, I don't know if I understand this part. I don't know if I understand that part. Um, and what I could be able to do is speak about that in our next talk. Right? Yeah, and also press like. <laughs> Say like. Like. Good job. Um, press yet. Like. Press yet. <laughs> She's two. So, with that being the case, um, press by yet. writing a comment, hey, listen, I don't know if I understand this part, or I really press like this yet. part, or like, uh, or the way that you you do um, a specific something, then. Um, on my next video, I could be able to explain, hey, listen, this is how I'm doing it, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then also, 
what happens is um, when I put out a new video, if you click on the subscribe button and then on the bell right after, what's going to happen is it's going to send me send you an alert when I actually put out that next video. Okay, so go ahead and do just those three things. Go ahead and click on the like button. Write a comment on something that I'm doing well or you have a question on. Um, and then go ahead and click on the subscribe button and on the bell right next to it as well so they send you an alert. Okay, so if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, and if you want to be able to get access to more, we have a full website that has everything on it, fxpronow.com. And we'll go from there. All right, guys. Peace.